Thank you for tuning in to this playthrough of Pokemon Snap. As one of my favorite games of all time, it's awesome that I get to play this for you lovely people. So thank you so much and have a great day. What's going on, everybody? You already know, it's your boy, Brian Saviano, Bricks O'Brien. We're playing a classic, an absolute classic from my childhood. You may know this game, you may not know this game. It originally released on the Nintendo 64 way back in the year 1999 before a lot of you were a glimmer in the eyes of the world. And oh, there's a, a unique concept behind this game, and it's oh, it's you, you just gotta you just gotta man, you just gotta watch it. Oh man! And here's our friend here. I don't know his name. I think Jack, maybe Jack. He's uh taking some pictures here of of a random, no idea who that thing is that flew into the sky. But ladies and gentlemen. It's my pleasure to introduce to you Pokemon Snap on the Nintendo 64. And wow, what a game from my childhood this is. I, I played this about the time I was I was each of your ages, like age three, I got this. It was awesome. So let's jump right into it. I'm playing this on the Wii U through the virtual console here. So uh, I am gonna in you know input my name here. Luckily, my name is Brian. I think his name is supposed to be Jack. No, it's not Bree. Uh, that's the type of bread. Um, yeah, his name I think is supposed to be Jack, but it doesn't matter. You know, you can input your name. Hello, Hello. Professor Oak. Hello. Hello there, Brian. I'm Oak, the Pokemon Professor. The reason I invited you here is this PKMN Pokemon Report. I'd like for you to take pictures of Pokemon for the Pokemon Report. Here on Pokemon Island, a very original name indeed, wild Pokemon can be found everywhere. This is my new invention, the Zero One Vehicle. You can take this on your trip. The Zero One Vehicle is constantly moving toward the goal gate, and I know that's not what the exact words say, but you get the idea. Shall I repeat the information? No! I'll teach you how to take pictures of Pokemon in the first course. I'm counting on you, Brian. Thank you. So there are a couple of courses in the game. There are not anywhere near close to 151 Pokemon. In this game there are 63 I think so why couldn't they add one more to make it 64 I don't know now this is a weird concept I'm sure for some of you but if we go into the match here we'll see uh, we start out here and uh, we take pictures of these Pokemon just like this so we're gonna press a to shoot now you see the little little, little uh, what's this thing this, this thing right here you see that yeah so that's called film you may not know what that is your parents will know what that is it's uh, a, a thing that you bring to CVS or Walgreens or whatever. You, you give it to the people and they develop actual physical pictures. It's a weird concept, I know. It's not all in a phone, but yes, that's you only have 60 shots in order to uh, take as many pictures of the Pokemon as you can. So use it wisely. You can't just spam the... Uh, take pictures of lots of Pokemon. Cool. Uh, you can't just spam the camera like you would... Um, you know, all you millennials and Gen Z people out there <laughs> can't use your gosh darned cellular devices to take pictures of whatever you want at any given point here. So uh, I got an awful shot of Doduo. So I'm going to try to get another shot there. I don't think that worked. But so the way the game works is you're supposed to take pictures of Pokemon when they're in the center of the little Pokeball right there. Now, right now, uh, we are on a rail, which means there is no moving off of this rail. We're basically just kind of stuck here. Uh, that is always the case. You will never be able to move around more so. So, right now, you're going to get awful shots, obviously. Bye. Um, you're going to get awful shots. There's kind of no helping you there. I'm going to wait, actually, for a hot second. And there we go. Cool. So, Meowth does his little pose right there. So, uh... You do get some upgrades along the way, but unfortunately, we don't really have access to any of those upgrades at all. We just kind of have to look at the ocean and... Oh, geez, there's a Meowth and a Pidgey at the same time. So, uh, the whole point of the game is to take pictures of the Pokemon. Maybe like Brian, that's really boring. I mean, I, I guess I don't find it boring at all. Maybe it's the nostalgia factor, but also the idea that up until this point, the Pokemon were only ever in 2D. 
we had never seen like like 3D Pokemon ever. Like that was this is the first time it's ever happened ever, like ever. So this was a totally oh geez oh geez yep I totally messed up that shot of Evie. Hey Evie, hi Evie. Ooh that's a good shot right there. Nice. So uh, there we go. Nice. And um, oh that's definitely Kangaskhan with a with him facing away. That helps. Sure. Ooh Pidgeys are here. So, you're meant to go back into these courses multiple times and take pictures of more Pokemon. Ooh, Meowth trying to steal the eggs here. Oh, no. Okay. There's lots of different factors that can make it so you uh, um, get better shots. And you're meant to come through here multiple times and you eventually earn more stuff. The more involved your pictures are, the more points you're going to get. So, let's see how well we did here. How many shots did we take? Man, the, the sound effects and the music are just like right, right in the... Right in the fields right there, man. Oh, man. 40 pictures. Let's see. So, you're supposed to mark off one of each type of picture for the Pokemon to um, go and show Professor Oak. So, let's see. Let's see what our best shot of Pikachu is. Um, huh. I guess that one's the best one because he fills up the frame the most. So, I guess this kind of inspired my, uh, my love of photography and film, I guess. Ooh, that's a good shot of Meowth right there. That's pretty cool. And so because we have this version, I believe, we can um, post them to the Wii U message board and you can actually save the pictures, which is cool. But uh, there's another way you could get your pictures developed way back when. But uh, I'll talk about that in a minute. It's about the best shot of Doduo I think we're going to get. Ooh, Eevee. That's a good shot. Nice. And I guess we'll get a that picture again Geng Genghis Khan because we don't really have any other options there so I think this shot of that shot right there is actually really good because you see me have passed out and um, that the Pidgey using um, gust right there that's pretty cool so we have like pictures of all the Pokemon no I guess we'll go with that because there are two Butterfree in the picture we should get um, you know, a decent amount of points there. Album mark makes it so you can actually save the pictures. So that should be good. Let's see how well we did for our first trial into the beach. So uh, typically, uh, he'll compare it to a previous picture of the Pokemon you've taken. So, 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 yep, okay. Wow, the pose is pretty decent, all right. Technique, um, yeah. So, wow, we got 2,640, which uh, compared to what we will be getting is, is not really that fantastic but you know um and obviously some pokemon are better than others and there's uh, multiple pokemon in the frame so Wonderful. butterfree did not do as well as pikachu so this one the technique is probably going to be good because of the um like how he's like being very expressive so oh, oh the pose right there actually we got a thousand for that right in the middle of the frame there so that's our best picture so far cool this one of doduo is going to be horrific right well yeah it is in the center of the frame. Well, that's not too bad. I mean, he's far away. Eevee, I think, should do okay. Oh, really? 750. Um, 2400, not bad. Then Kangaskhan, it's going to be bad because he's not facing the camera. Because, yeah, the pose is close. awful. You were close. Oh. Wow. Pidgey, isn't this a gust using Pidgey? So when a Pokemon is using a move, that's going to get you more points than it's uh, not going to. So, you see, this game has some technicality stuff to it. You get an extra 500 points for it being special there. And wow, we, we did not do good at all. Wow. Wait, Brian, let's return to the lab. So, we got seven kinds of Pokemon, 1,280, no, 12,840 points. There we go. So, I saw the pictures taken by Brian. I saved these pictures in the Pokemon report. I'll help you out once you have more Pokemon pictures. Good luck, Brian. Oh, I have arranged it so that you can see the Pokemon report. Cool. So we'll go back to the course. Uh, Brian can go to the next course. Yeah. The tunnel. So because we don't have any other like additional things we can use, we're basically going to get the same kind of pictures at the beach. So we might as well go to the tunnel. Yes. So this game is really, really short. It's insanely short. So I, it's only going to be a couple videos, but I didn't want to play it because it's just a really cool game. And, ooh, actually, this is going to work out very nicely. And we have Pikachu riding Electrode right there. OMG. OMG. There we go. And we have Electrode here. Now, here's the worst part of it all. Pikachu dies. Well, not doesn't die, but, like, clearly is not, like, 
Okay, he he needs some help of some kind here. Uh, Kakuna, hello. Okay, I guess he's just gonna stay far away. So in order to get a good picture of him, there's kind of nothing we can do about it. Oh geez, no. Oh no, Electrode and Electabuzz is dead. Oh no. Okay. Oh geez, that's a close up. I forgot that was actually a thing. Hey buddy. There we go. There should be another one over here. Yes, indeed. Okay. Hello. Right in the center of the frame, buddy. Uh, Zubat. Ooh, da, da. There we go. We got it. Cool. So, uh, hi, Pikachu. You're just going to stand there and look pretty, aren't you? Yeah, you are. What's that egg? I don't know. Couldn't tell you, right? Uh, maybe it has something to do with that painting on the wall. I guess we'll never find out. Uh, let's see here. Uh, this mysterious gas entity is really deciding not to be in the center of the frame here. There we go. All right, that didn't work out too much. Um, let's see here. This is really difficult on the Wii U gamepad. It's super, super difficult. Um, let's see one more. Nope. Come on. I keep wasting shots here. Hi, Diglett. Hi, buddy. You look so cute. Come here. Make sure you you travel with Pikachu because... Oh, yep. Yeah, okay. Um, oh, really? You're going to end up right there, dude? Oh, no, no, no. Ah, uh, dang it. Yeah, and then he goes back. Okay, so if you get him multiple times, that actually will work out in your favor. And uh, you may be like, Brian, these levels are really barren. You know, when I was looking at this game again, I looked up like a video on it just to see what it was like. Because I I'd forgotten. Oh, no. That's up. Oh, jeez. All right. That, that can pierce your ears right there. Um, when I was looking at this game again, I was like, you know what? This is pretty barren. There's not really a ton of Pokemon everywhere. They're kind of, like, scattered, I guess. They're not really, like, uh... Yeah. There's not a ton of Pokemon. So, like, once you get through a level, you really have to... Like, the replay value, you gotta go back over and over and over again. So, I think we will get a, um... A new ability or a new something. Uh, but yeah. The game, this whole game... It can be played in like an hour and a half. You can get this thing done super quickly. And in terms of other N64 games, this seems like it can come off as relatively boring because you're just taking pictures of Pokemon, but a lot of it is uh, the nostalgia factor of it, of course. So if I were to guess, this picture, or maybe this picture, is going to get a better mark than that one of Pikachu because it's... Um, it's uh, an action shot, like a special time right here. Oh, it's electro it's electrode exploding. Or um let's see. Okay, so there's not one of electro Oh, well, we can get a one of dead electrobuzz. That's fine. Let's go back here. Yep. He's he's super dead. Or passed out. He's not dead. He's passed out. Um It's about as good of a shot of electrode as I think I'm gonna get right now. Um Oh, we have Haunter. So that's Haunter. That's what that ghastly uh, being was right there. Uh, can we get any other good shots? Ooh, that's a decent shot. I like that. Uh, what about Zubat? Wow, they're all garbage. Oh, that one's not bad. We'll go with that. Yeah, Zubat appears super quickly, so you gotta make sure you're right on top of that. Um, all these shots of Diglett are garbage. That looks bad. Alright. Uh, I think... Ooh, we didn't use Kakuna at all. Did we get a shot of Kakuna, or does it not count? Wow, that's, uh... Sure. Alright. So I guess that's uh, gonna have to do. Is there anything else we can use right now? Magnemite doesn't count. Well, yeah, because it doesn't actually show the Pokemon. So there we go. Let's see if I was right about Pikachu. Um, isn't that Pikachu on a ball? That's an electrode, you monster. Call it by what it's supposed to be. Uh, let's see, so it's already better right at the gate. Yep, and yeah, that's definitely a ton better. And there we go. By over a thousand points, it's better. Just like I thought. Kakuna, the size is horrendous. Yeah. There's there's a way to get a better shot of Kakuna eventually. The size is fairly big. Oh dear, it fainted. 800 points. <laughs> oh dear, it's dead. Oh no. Well, it got a ton of points. So that works. Electrode. Wow, 1,000 points. That's a perfect pose, right? Or a perfect size right there. Technique. Obviously 200 right there. Almost 4,000 points. Nice. Too bad. I mean, I mean, it's gonna be as good as it's gonna be. Three thousand. Yeah. 
We're doing pretty good, though. All things considered, you're lucky I'm good at this game. I mean, it doesn't take much to be good at the game. It's just taking pictures of, like, 60 Pokemon, but you know what I mean. Diglett, yeah. Yeah. Ooh, a pose for a thousand? Maybe because it's, like, squirming like that. Maybe that's why. And, uh, do we double our score? More than, yeah, we got 10,000 more. 13 kinds of Pokemon. 13 kinds of Pokemon, though. Eh? Welcome back. You take pictures at a good pace to make your work easier. Here's a present for you. It will come in handy for taking pic picture Pokemon. Would you like to be closer with Pokemon? Always. Then use this apple-shaped Pokemon food. It's easy to use when you are not touching your camera. Press A to throw it. Pokemon in the distance will happily come closer when you use this item. If you want to throw farther, look up slightly, then throw. Here's a hint for you. Okay, so my hair looks awful because i haven't gotten a haircut yet which helps that i'm uh, wearing a uh, a hat so what we're supposed to do is go back to the tunnel and use that on the electrode just like uh professor oak recommended so that's exactly what we're gonna do uh we might go back and visit the beach one more time again just to see what the differences are for um you know our uh like our, our like the differences of uh uh what's it called um you know, oh, geez, good shots, good shots, good shots right there. Yeah, there we go. Beautiful. Um, hmm. I'm going to hit you. So if you hit Electrode, he will actually not get destroyed by the uh, Electrode there. So what will happen is if you, uh, like, have Electrode there, he will, um, or Electro Buzz, you eventually will catch up with him and you will halt. You will absolutely halt. And all these Kakuna will fall from the sky if you uh, trigger one of these uh, electrode here. So let's see if we can get a good shot of Kakuna. And, ooh, ooh, kinda, not really. Um, is there more over here? Ooh, there's gonna be one right here. Ooh, look at that, nice, beautiful, beautiful shot of Kakuna right there. Forget you, Zubat. Um, I don't think right here there's any way to really egg on Haunter at all. I think it's just kinda whatever. And we can, like, lead Pokemon to other locations, too. And, like, you get more points for showing off, like, like an eating Pikachu or whatever. Um, let's see here. Um, I think... Ooh, Magikarp. Cool. I never... <laughs> I never thought I'd say that about Magikarp, but there we go. All right. And then hopefully that's a decent shot right there. Um, let's see. I think this is going to be our best shot of Electrobuzz over here. So we bonked him with the, uh... Uh, the fruit right there, and he totally is not in frame when uh, I want him to be. Okay. So how about... Uh, we're not going to pay attention to Diglett right now, because I don't want to deal with his nonsense. And let's see here. Please work, please work, please work. Nope, it's going to happen again. No, it's not. There we go. Nice. Okay. So if we throw the apple at Magnemite, that will actually cause it to... Um, be okay and want to have pictures taken of them so we're gonna do that and then we're also gonna toss something at uh, that electrode over there and see he's all happy he's all happy look at that super duper happy there we go now he goes away electrode I need you to explode do what you do best bucko and just like that Stay in your seats, kiddos, because there is a brand new area for us to go and play in. And just like that, a magical hovercraft that never appears in any Pokemon game ever again is suddenly unlocked. So there we go. So instead of going through the goal gate, we end up uh, going through the, uh, the, the, the random hole in the cave. So sure. All right. So I think... Ooh. Uh, let's see. That's a good Pikachu shot right there. It's definitely a lot closer up, so that helps. Ooh, yeah. Here we go. Look at that size on Kakuna. Beautiful. Okay. Ooh, much better. No. Much better shot of Zubat right there. Hello. That's a that's a good one. All right. Magikarp. They all kind of look like garbage, but, you know, it's a shot to begin with. So we'll get more points for it regardless. Um, let's see here. Ooh, okay. So which one of Electro Buzz is decent? Well, that one you can actually see the lightning. So I would go with that one. And that's a good size on Magnemite right there. And I think that's pretty much all we can do right now. Um, none of them stuck out to me that I want to keep. So otherwise, if we wanted to keep them, we would mark them off with uh, this like album thing right there. So we only have 60 that we can use too. So you got to keep that in mind also. 
So let's see here. Uh, Pikachu. Um, let's see. Yeah, you get the same special. And yes, like I just predicted, 100 more points for size, baby. And there we go. Another 200 points there. Awesome. So that one will get replaced, and that will be the best shot of Pikachu we have ever. So let's see. Size is really 750? Wow. I thought that would have been a little bit bigger because he's massive in that picture, but all right. Magikarp, got nothing to compare it to. It's a steaming pot. Ooh, it was splashing. So we got some points for that. Cool. Zubat, much better picture there. 980 on size. Pose 1,000, yeah. So technique, obviously. Cool. That replaces that, no problem. Electro Buzz. Uh, so what's going to get more points? Him feigning or actually doing something? I don't know. Um, wow. Okay. Okay, so more on the points, but the technique, it doesn't matter because it's going to be less. Uh, wow, okay. So I would rather have Electro Buzz actually doing something than being passed out. So we're going to keep that last one there. Uh, let's see, Magnemite. And the side, really? That should have been a better size there. Four, two, 2880. All right. So, wait, let's return to the lab. What could you possibly have for me now, Oak? <laughs> Brian, I found a split in the path. According to a new course, uh, I've also made a link from my lab. You should go right away. And that will unlock yeah. the volcano. The boiling magma here makes this place very hot, hot, hot. I'm sweating already. So what we're going to do is actually go back to the beach. And we're going to see the differences that we can get to um, get the uh, with the apple now. We can see what new things we can yes. do. And then the volcano we're going to go into in the next episode. Because the volcano is an entirely new area with new stuff to it, of course. So, uh, like, right now, we can bonk the, um, the Pidgey. That doesn't actually do anything. But what actually might help is, uh, if I can time it. Yep. Ooh, yes, there we go. Actually got a close-up shot of Doduo right there. Nice. And he will come back alive and go off into the distance and do whatever. So this is going to be one of the best shots of Pikachu you can possibly get. So lead Pikachu over to this, uh, surfboard over here. Go over here, Pikachu. Go. And he'll just hop on the surfboard right there. You have Surfing Pikachu. One of the best shots you can possibly have of Pikachu right there. It's awesome. It's really, really good. And that's a much better shot of Butterfree. Lapras. Lapras is over there. I don't know of any way to lead Lapras over here. Oh, hi. Hi, uh, Magikarp. Um, yeah, I don't think there's any way to lead Lapras over here. Does this work for you? Um, no. Okay. Okay. There is a way that you can get Snorlax to uh, actually uh, awaken eventually. Um, let's see here. Will that knock you? I think it does. It, no. Wow. Okay. Uh, I thought it was supposed to knock me out to be down there, but I guess not. Um, so now, you might have noticed there's something over here that's um, like uh, moving around. You can actually toss your apples into here and maybe... It'll work. Uh, it doesn't look like it will. Okay. So you can kind of see the like the movement of where it's going. Um, that is something you can go and like take a picture of. But you might need the next item out of anything in order to uh, unlock it. And we can hit Butterfree. Oh, no, we can't hit Butterfree. Okay, I lied. I'm sorry. Um, let's see here. Can we get a better shot? Of you know what? Um, I guess that's as good a shot as we're going to get. Um, let's see. Does that work for you? No. Actually, oh, geez, it does. Chansey, hello, Chansey. Hi. Oh, they're both so happy. Now they're both happy to be around each other. Oh, hi, Chansey. Oh, oh, hi, Chansey. Hello. Um, Boob Kangaskhan. Hey, get mad. Get angry. Oh, yeah, there we go. Nice. Look at that shot right there. Beautiful with, uh, you know, we got Kangaskhan with the baby. All right, we're actually going to shoo these Pidgey away. Get away. Get away from my boy Meowth. He can steal your eggs. Well, no. Actually, that's really bad. I don't think that's the case. You know, Meowth is just chilling out there. So, hi, Magikarp. Bye, Magikarp. So, 18 pictures left. Um, yeah, you don't have to use up the whole roll of film. Unlike back in the day where you kinda, you're kind of you obligated to because otherwise you're wasting. Because once you develop the film, you can't reuse it. So, you better use everything in there before you uh, go and get it developed. Because it's kind of expensive from what uh, I remember. Uh, which is not much, but I do remember it. So let's see here. The best shot, I would assume, is this one. Looks pretty good. I actually might save that for the, uh, the album. So that's pretty cool. Um, let's see. Much better shot of Butterfree right there. 
Uh, not really much better on Doduo, except that one, he's kind of, he's kind of passed out, so that's fine. Uh, let's see here. Chansey, we didn't really get anything too spectacular other than that one. You know, you have Eevee in the picture. And Kangaskhan, we got some good shots here. Kangaskhan looking super angry. Oh yeah, look at that shot. That's beautiful. That's awesome. Alright, so I'm gonna mark a couple of these off, actually. I really like this one. That's a, a good shot of Kangaskhan right there. Um... And then the Surfing Pikachu one, I'm going to... No. I'm going to save... That's a good shot of Butterfree. I'll try to save one of each Pokemon, maybe. So, we, even though there's 63 Pokemon, we could, um, you know, like, actually take pictures of. But we'll see. We'll see. Because at this time, that should be a lot better. Ah, oh, not, not that much. Oh, it just fainted. 1,300 points. Really? All right. You didn't give me that many points for Electro Buzz, but all right. So obviously times two. Look at that. Look at how much better that is. All right. So Fainted Doduo actually works really well. Surfing Pikachu is a thousand extra points. So it is rarer than um, on the ball Pikachu. I think there's there might be two more versions that are rarer than uh, Surfing Pikachu, but it is uh, pretty, pretty good nonetheless. Really, it's not going to do as well. No, it is. Okay, cool. We're good, right? Yeah, definitely. Times two. Cool. Only by a little bit, it's better. Only by a smidge. Now, the size on Butterfree alone should be better. Yes. There we go. So, that's inherently... Ooh! Thousand for the pose, too. All right. Much better picture that time. Wonderful. Chansey. The size isn't great on there, but that's fine. 2,500 to add to the collection. Kangaskhan. Much better this time around. Look at that. Look at that pose. Ooh! Look at that. Look at those points, baby. 3980. I'm so good at this game. I'm so good. The best. Number one. And then look at all this. Pokemon Report 15 Kinds. Um, now, you'll figure out what the next course is if you take six more Pokemon pictures. So, uh, I think he means six more unique pictures of, like, unique Pokemon. So, uh, next time we see you on Pokemon Snap, we're going to go to the volcano. Maybe another location. We'll just have to wait and see. But uh, hopefully we'll knock more stuff in our journey and uh, take it from there. I want to thank you guys and girls for listening and watching to this episode of Pokemon Snap on the Nintendo 64, technically on the Wii U. And I will talk to you lovely people of the internet next time. See you later. Bye.